the sun is behind this rock and it just shows off so beautifully. It is just a gorgeous agate. So many beautiful rocks. That's a nice thing to find on my way out. Hi everybody, it's Kate from Katie Did. Today we're going to do something different. I am going to try to teach my son how to find agates in the silt. Come along. During this video, I'll show Tor and you how I look for agates in the silt. It's all about shape and texture and sometimes color. So this is not an agate. It's some kind of jasper, I guess, but it seems to have some bands and some other cool stuff in it. So I'm gonna probably bring it along. Part of the reason finding agates in the silt is so tricky is that there are so many rocks that look very much like it. This is one of them. Jasper is very, very similar often to what agates look like with the lumps and the bumps and the dimples. I picked this up because I thought it looked interesting. It has these, these, it's kind of the dimply shapes on it like this. And I turned it around and look at that. It looks like it's got some agate material right here. Now this might just be uh, something that I found once before called black jasper, where it's just pure black inside, but it is very, very glassy. And so uh, definitely something that we want to take home, which is convenient because uh, I'm making a pile right here and Tor just found an egg. <laughs> this is not the big agate we are looking for. Not yet. One of the things that I look for when I'm looking for agates in the silt is the shape. You can see that this one has dimples and a snaky kind of skin. And when you look where it has been chipped, you can actually see what we call windows. You can see what's inside. This is quite obviously not an agate. It is a brecciated jasper of some kind, but boy, is it pretty. Haha, cat hair. One thing that I've done when I am trying to learn how to find agates in the... Ooh, there's a little piece of petrified wood. That's pretty. You get distracted. <laughs> One thing that I try to do when I am looking for agates in the silt is to turn over rocks with my feet. And of course, these little rocks are pretty hard to do. Uh, I'm not that coordinated. But the, uh, the larger rocks, some of them look suspiciously agony and then you turn them over and sure enough they're not. So uh, that's what we're going to do is to try to find some suspiciously agony rocks to show you. Um, then we'll figure out why I picked that particular one. I'm pretty sure this is one that I turned over some time ago. It has this, if this had been an agate, I would have just plotted. It is just so cool and big. You can see it's blobby. It's got this kind of dimply thing here. It's got sort of snakeskin looking things. So when I turned it over, I was like, oh, please be an agate. And it's a Jasper. It's probably a really pretty Jasper. Here's another one that is what I, what I call a near agate. You can see it has the snakeskin looking skin on it and uh, sort of lumpy and bumpy but it is not clear. It has too many minerals in it to be an actual Montana moss agate. I have cut some of those and they are quite pretty, but when you have so many rocks, so many beautiful rocks, it is, you have to start to be really discriminating about which ones you actually haul home. Something like this might be worth turning over. Again, I don't think it's anything, but, uh, yep, it's not, but that, that kind of, you can see how it has the sort of yeah. the... So it's, it's much more of like macro scale, like indentations and mini indentations. Right, right. So you're not looking, especially in the silt, you can't really find, uh, you can't really see the skin very well. Yeah. So you got to look for the overall shape. The next one has the characteristic floppy agate shape, as well as the snaky looking skin. I could tell the color wasn't right, but it was still worth a look. I have spent many, many, many hours turning over rocks with my feet, and uh, and I found a few agates. Ooh, check this one out, Tor. I don't think this is an agate either, but it's the closest we've found so far. 
Oh, that's cool. It's a jazz baggage. It's just baggage. <laughs> that's neat. Oh, neat. Yeah, I'm not gonna take you home. I'm sorry. Again, here you can see the characteristic blobby shape and the half moon marks on the skin. Jazz baggots need love too. So this is a, a piece of chert, but it's it's so glassy that it's almost agony. That is cool. Chert is a form of microcrystalline quartz, just like jasper and agate. They're all in the same family. One of the reasons Tor wants to find larger agates is that he just really wants me to make him a, an agate cube, and I haven't been very uh, cooperative lately, but he thought if he found his own agate, perhaps it would work. Okay, I'm gonna see if Tor can find the agate. I mean, uh, you were literally looking at it, so... <laughs> Yeah, so this is an agate that is, it, it would be in the silt like this, and you can see it's got the bumps here, and kind of you can see the little almost half moon marks all around it, and that's one of the things that would make me turn it, somebody turned this over already, I don't know why they didn't pick it up, maybe or maybe they kicked it or something. For their um, but anyway. That's pretty, I love that. Yeah, so that's cool. We could make a small cube out of that one. So let's keep looking. This particular piece of agate has a quartz pocket right through the center and a few little inclusions. Uh, it's not a super great agate, but it's pretty, and I love the quartz crystals that are in the middle. One really cool thing about Montana agates is how translucent they are. They really, really glow in the light. So pretty. Just a little piece of banded shirt while we're walking along. Sure wish I had my backpack. I am not looking for Jasper, but Jasper seems to be looking for me. Look at that. Isn't that just pretty? Okay. It's just in Where is it? Right here. Oh, that is so much less natural than the <laughs> first time when we didn't actually uh, that we didn't actually record. Like, yeah, so the first time we recorded this, or, or recorded this, <laughs> <laughs> I uh, didn't realize she was recording, and there was a rock on the ground that my foot was on, and it was so kind of like rose color that I thought it was like some kind of a quartz thing. And uh, she told me to pick up the rock that my foot was on. I picked it up, and uh, after some uh, confusion, I saw some like the glowing edges uh, that those agates have. And lo and behold, it actually is an agate. It's just a very like colorful, different kind of agate, which is pretty good. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. Tor's instincts were actually not too far off on this one. It's a kind of chalcedony, not terribly clear, but has some beautiful, beautiful color in it. You can see when it's slabbed that it has this gorgeous amber hue. So actually, this is chalcedony. It's almost carnelian in its color. I suppose it's not quite red enough that you can see around the edges it has a little bit of that. And take a look at what it is, looks like when the light is behind it. Wow. This one has the texture, but the little orangey things in it makes me think it's probably, yes indeed, it is a jazz maggot. Probably very pretty. See all the orange, but not a Montana moss agate. This one has the little indents and things, but it looks like probably it's just a little too milky. It's not agate, but still. Yep. It's the right shape. This is not an agate, but it should be. It's a piece of quartzite and it has the glow. So sometimes uh, if you're looking for the glow for the agates, it's actually just a piece of piece of quartzite that's hanging out in the silt. It makes you all sad. 
How about this one? Is this an agate? I think it is. I feel like it. Darkness in this, one. Ooh, that's cool. this one wasn't particularly covered in silt. I could tell what it was by the color and shape. I just picked this little hunker up and you can see it's got some of the matrix, the original matrix in here. And it is not an agate, but it sure could have been. It has exactly the same sort of pattern that you're looking for, these lumps and bumps. This is a piece of chert and I believe it was formed in the same way, in the same type of uh, volcanic vug or hole that uh, that agates are formed in and so that's why they have a similar skin and a similar similar shape so they trick you I look I looked at this one because it had these little dimples in it and then these kind of funny lines like just it just had a little look to it that it made me wonder if it was an agate it's not a big one but it is definitely an agate oh yeah I think I see very, very subtly the clearness of it. Even silt-covered agates glow slightly when the sun shines on them. This one, you could see that glow. Here's just a nice little blower, teeny tiny. So that's in the range of ones I find. That's nice. I came over to these clear rocks because I'm actually picking up mudstones. But behind, the sun is behind this rock and it just shows off so beautifully. It is just a gorgeous agate. Sweet. I mentioned that I didn't have a backpack and that, uh, well, this is this is what my pockets look like right now. I don't think you can see. Tor just thought of this, this brecciated jasper. Oh, look at that. It's very plain on this side, but just broke apart and then filled with this beautiful red and green. Oh, gorgeous. Maybe we'll make a cube out of that. That'd be pretty sweet. Well, that was really fun. What a beautiful day. I hope you learned something. If you'd like to share in some of these treasures, do go and visit my Etsy store, Katie Did Rocks, on Etsy. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And keep on doing. Channel memberships are available by clicking the Join button below. You'll get access to exclusive content and just help this channel continue to make awesome videos. Thank you. Tor very rightly pointed out that he has a little bit of an advantage when trying to find agates in the silt because he's seen so many of them. So I thought I would share some of my agates with you so you could see the variety and what they look like, both wet and dry. Enjoy.
It's official. I need new pants. Or stop carrying rocks in your pocket. That too. <laughs> <laughs>